As a way of introduction, I'm Jonathan Bill Sparks, a technologist at HPE. And today I'm going to talk about cloud native workflows and orchestration. The agenda for my talk. We'll start with what do we mean by a workflow? Talk about workflow agents, in particular Argo and Apache Airflow. Then we'll talk about workflow orchestration challenges in HPC computing. How are workflows used and for what purpose? Some examples are machine learning, ETL, data analytics, bioinformatics, astronomy, simulations. Let's start with a definition of what a workflow is and how it applies to HPC. From Wikipedia, a workflow consists of an orchestrated and repeatable pattern of activity enabled by the systematic organization of resources into processes. The word repeatable. As with containers, being able to perform repeatable actions is very important in the scientific community. Another definition from the Workflow Management Coalition, the automation of a business process in whole or part during which documents, information, tasks are passed from one participant to another for action. The same definition can be used for scientific processes composed of several tasks that are connected together. The term process indicates a set of tasks linked together with the goal of calculating a result or providing a service. But what we really mean is that a workflow or pipeline can be referred to as a DAG, direct acyclic graph. A DAG represents a workflow which only flows in a single direction. It consists of a set of tasks or steps. Tasks can have dependencies on other tasks, ordering, tasks may run in parallel. All these tasks or steps join together to form the entire workflow. And that's pretty much it for DAGs. Just keep in mind the following, directed. If multiple tasks exist, each must have at least one defined upstream, previous or downstream task although they can easily have both. A cyclic, no task can create data that refers to itself. This would cause an infinite loop. A graph, all tasks are laid out in a clear structure with discrete processes occurring at set points and a clear relationship made to other tasks. So where to start when picking a workflow application? The website Awesome Pipeline lists approximately 150 or so tools concerned with workflows. We can break down workflows into three different categories. Generic workflow agents, workflow management systems, scientific management systems some being specialized to certain application domains, such as genomics, whereas others more generic, such as Argo and Apache Airflow. On the left, we show an Argo nested DAG taken from the Argo's examples. On the right, a more complex data science example from Apache Airflow community. Let's look at these two different workflow agents. First of all, let's look at Apache Airflow. Originated at Airbnb, has several components, scheduler, workers, and databases, Python-based operators using DAGs, large community backing, and open source. Argo originated at Intuit. It is cloud or Kubernetes native. It consists of a custom resource definition, a CRD, 
and a Kubernetes controller. DAGs are created using containers, therefore they can be language agnostic. It has a growing community and an ecosystem. There are several other components within the Argo uh, community, events, CD, and rollouts. Rollouts provide uh, different update strategies, such as updates and redeploy, uh, continuous delivery engine, which is the uh, CD component, and an event-based uh, deployment mechanism for Kubernetes orchestration. So looking at Argo and Airflow, you see some, some differences. So Argo um, can uses a lot of uh, YAML. It's based on Kubernetes after all. Um, it gets deployed on a Kubernetes platform, meaning that Kubernetes must be available. And it's still in the early stages of, of, of being a project. Whereas Airflow, um, the deployment of DAGs is quite complex. It needs to be shared between the schedulers and workers. And the installation itself is not as simple as deploying a set of services through Kubernetes. As an example, this is an Argo um, workflow, which runs an MPI application on, on, a, on Kubernetes. As can be seen, it uses quite a lot of YAML to uh, deploy uh, an MPI exec of um, the OSU benchmarks. This is this example. So let's look at some of the uh, challenges facing using um, cloud native applications or workflows on HPC systems. First of all, the HPC system itself is optimized to run high performance parallel applications, not cloud applications. We have high speed networks that need to be interfaced with, with custom resource definitions or drivers. Sometimes nodes are diskless, preventing its own issues with using commodity uh, container execution environments. As we've seen before, there's a language barrier. Um, some of these workflow agents use uh, a lot of YAML, which is not the, the programming language of HPC. Um, we have some scheduling differences between the way that Kubernetes schedules containers versus more of a, a, an HPC scheduler like Slurm or PBS. We have different use of security paradigms. Kubernetes really uses the ABAC, RBAC rule sets, whereas workflow managers uh, such as Slurm and PBS use more of the POSIX authentication, LDAP or Active Directory. There are some novel approaches coming out of the cloud uh, infrastructure. Um, notebooks can provide a way of scheduling jobs through its um, series of, of annotated cells. And there's a new project out of the Kubeflow called Kale, which uses the cells as a workflow process and it allows you to schedule different cell execution based on previous examples. This concludes the lightning talk on uh, workflows, Apache, uh, Airflow, and Argo. Thank you very much.